let's talk about amortization tables or schedule. An amortization schedule is just a list of all the payments that you make along with the balance at the end of that period and the principal and interest that are part of that. There were three methods of constructing these and we're going to actually look at all three. The first one we're going to do is by hand. The second is using the built-in amortization table in the BA2 Plus calculator. And thirdly, Excel or another computer program. Spreadsheets are wonderful for this sort of thing. So we're going to look at them all. So let's start by doing one by hand. And we are not going to do this whole thing because I, for one, do not have the patience. At the beginning, we owed $100,000. We put that here under loan balance. The interest that we paid on this was $1,000. I found that by remembering that I is 12% over 12 equals 0 0.01. So the interest of the first month is going to be the balance times I, which is $1,000. So I take that $1,000, let's work that out here, I multiply that by 0 0.01 and it says that, sorry, it was $100,000 times 0 0.01 and I owe an extra thousand dollars. So now I owe a thousand, a hundred and one thousand dollars. I made a payment of 1,053.23. We already worked that out, which means that a thousand of that was interest and 53 it was principal. This plus this equals this. My new balance is then a hundred thousand dollars minus the amount of principal I paid. $53.23. So now we owe $99,946.77. So I'm going to start off this row that way. 99,946.77. How much interest do I owe on that? Well, let's multiply it by 0 0.01. And it says I owe 999.47. I'm rounding here at every step. Normally, a computer is going to do this and every bank has its own rounding procedure. My payment is the same because we have even payments in an annuity. I'm going to write that all down, all the same, which means the principal, well, if I make this negative and then add my payment, 1053.23, it looks like I actually paid off $53.76 leaving me with a new balance of minus, and then let's add how much we owed, 99946.77. And that is now we owe 99893 and one cent. Perfect. That is our amortization table. In order to find the balance of the loan after three periods, I could continue on doing this by hand. But that is tedious and frustrating. So we're going to move on to method number three, and I'm going to do the rest of this with Excel. Using Excel. I haven't done anything too fancy here except copy over the exact same thing we had, but now into Excel. So I'm going to make sure that I have the correct interest rate. I have to convert this for Excel. So I'm going to say that if J12 is 12%, then I is 0.01. We started with $100,000 and we then that thousand was actually 100,000 times the interest rate. For you guys who are a Excel aficionados, pressing F4 here means that we've fixed that so that interest rate stays the same for the whole problem. Enter. Our payment, that's fixed. And our principal, that's going to be, well, how much we paid minus the interest. And our new balance is going to be that $100,000 minus the amount of principal we paid off. Here, what I owe at the beginning of month two is what I owe at the end of month one. So now I can fill down. So I'm going to take all of these 
and fill them all the way down so that I'm filling out the entire thing at once. One thing to be careful of is sometimes Excel will fill incorrectly. So I'm just going to make sure everything is working exactly according to plan. Once I do this, you can see that here I've got the balance at the end of the third period. So let's go back to our question and say that we have a balance of 99,838 and 71 cents. Let's do another method. So here what we're going to do is use the amortization schedule on the calculator. So above the present value is the amortization button. So second amortization. What I'm going to do is say, let's look at the third row. If I want to look at the third row, I say from P1 equals three, that means the beginning of the third row, and I go three, enter, from to the end of the third row, three and enter. The balance is now everything else I'm going to read off. The balance is 99838.71. The principal we've paid is negative 54299, that's 30. And the interest that we've paid is negative 998.93. When we add these things up together, you'll see that they are exactly that 1,053 and 23 cents, negative because our payment is negative. It's decreasing the balance. That's the same thing that we got via Excel. Well, we've already done part D here. The principal was 54.30 and the interest was 998.93. So now let's look at how much we paid in the first year. Again, we're going to do two methods for this and I'm not going to do it by hand because that's a lot of work which seems a little silly. So going back to here, I'm going to sum everything. The loan balance doesn't make sense to add, but I'm going to go sum bracket and then I highlight everything I've paid. That's going to add all those numbers up together. My payments, well, it looks like I've made $12,000 worth of payments. How much principal have I paid off? Well, all those add up together. And now my new balance would be this 9938. So let's make everything here bold because that will look a lot nicer. So if we look here, you can see that at the end of year one, then we have the balance ooh, is 99, 324.91. That's the balance at the end of year one. How much interest did we pay over the entire year? We paid $11,963 of interest and we only paid off $675 worth of principal. That's what happens when we have a very high interest rate, 12%. So how much did we pay in the first year? In the first year, we made 12 payments of 1,053 and 23 cents. And we could see that in our Excel. So let's clear out of this menu, 12 times 1053.23, we made $12,638.76 worth of payments. So now let's look at our amortization schedule on the calculator. So second, amortization. When I'm doing the entire first year, that says from the beginning of the first month, so let's change that to one, to the end of the year, the end of the 12th month, P2 equals 12, that's one year. Well, how much did we pay? Our balance, that's part H, was 99324.91. Our interest was a lot. Again, 11963.67, and the principal we paid off was $675. Looking back at our Excel, you can see that this is exactly the same. 
The principal paid 675.09. Those are the same numbers. Balance 9932491. Same thing. And when we go to the interest paid, that's going to be 11963.67. So again, we're getting the exact same answers no matter which method we use. How much interest did we pay in the third year? The easiest way to do this is the amortization table built into our calculator. The third year starts in the 25th month and it ends in the 36th month. That's because the second year ends at 24. So the next one starts and we say at the beginning. So let's go up here. So P1 must be 25. P2 is 36, that's three years. So over those three years, we paid less interest than we did in the first two years. In the first year, but we still paid $11,781.58 worth of interest.